So you can stick a blue bezel on it. You can put a red second hand on it. You can even call it somewhere else. But there is no denying this is a carbon copy of a Rolex Submariner. A copy, a homage, whatever you want to call it. Now, if you're still watching, I'm sure there's a couple of you out there. There's actually some good points to this watch as well. So today we are talking about my experience with the, is it Genol or is it Genot, like Renault, I don't know, Ocean Rover, the carbon copy of the Rolex Submariner and have a look into them. They are, they're all looking like Rolex Submariners, they're slightly different variants and yes, it's got a blue bezel, yes, it's got a red seconds hand, yes, it's got a different name, but put them side by side, freaking hell, they do look very similar. Now, if you can get past that fact and you can ex want to experience a really well-built, really good looking watch, then this could be for you. If you don't want to spend thousands of pounds on a Rolex Submariner, this could be for you. If you don't want to wait until you're 75 years old to get on a waiting list, this watch could definitely be for you. I am massively surprised at the quality and it definitely begs the bigger question, what the fuck do you pay for within a Rolex Submariner? If these guys can do this for a few hundred uh, dollars, pounds, up to a thousand pounds, I think they might cost, and you're paying so much more for a Rolex Submariner, it is, it's that brand recognition, it's that heritage, it's that kudos that you've actually got one. And actually, put these watches side by side, there is not that much difference. Now, the first thing that struck me, apart from the obvious similarity to a Rolex Submariner, is the bezel action is out of this world. I'll just see if you can listen to this. That is very similar to Rolex. Oh, it's a really smooth, nice click it. There's no movement. It's a really tight action bezel. Got to get it back to 12. And it's an amazing action. It's arguably, arguably better than my Amiga Seamaster's bezel action. Uh, it's a 40 mil case. And if you're trying to distinguish it from a Rolex Submariner. <laughs> you could argue that there isn't one particular Rolex Submariner reference that this applies to. So for example, it's got the sword hands, which obviously the Rolex Submariner of today doesn't have. It's got extremely slender, slim lugs, which you could say are from two or three, four generations ago. But then it's got the ceramic bezel. It's got the four lines of text. It's got the, the exact, well, nigh on exactly the same micro adjustment. So everything that you want in a Rolex Submariner, you can 100% get in this watch. It's unbelievable. And massively, 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 this is a chronometer. So what are you getting? You're getting sapphire crystal, a chronometer movement, ceramic bezel, great bezel action, micro adjustment. Even the links are screws. So it's just Yes, carbon copy in many ways, slightly different in some ways, but I just thought I'd show you this watch. I'd love to know what you actually think of it. Is it just so close, so carbon copy that you think, oh no, I couldn't do it. Part of me thought like that, to be fair, that I thought I can't go out the house in this because if someone says nice Submariner, you have to go through the rigmarole of it, <laughs> explaining that it's not, or like I am going to do for the next week now, I'm going to wear it every day for a week, going to work, going to see friends, going to see family members, whatever I do, going to the shops, I'm going to wear it, I'm going to wear it loud and proud, and I'm going to share my experiences in a later video. It is, it's a really good quality watch, but can you get away from that homage copy thing? It's a tough pill to swallow, but if you can, I think you could have a bit of fun with a watch like this. So anyway, guys, I just thought I'd introduce you to this watch. Hands-on experience, first initial thoughts are, Friggin' hell, this is a really good quality watch. I'll update you on the accuracy if I had in, any embarrassing encounters where people uh, mistook it for a Submariner. Because unfortunately, the blue bezel would set it apart and you wouldn't automatically think Submariner possibly. But it's quite a matted, subdued blue. So I think from a distance, even from there, can you tell that it's a blue bezel? No. So people are going to think I'm wearing a Rolex Submariner. But I'll let you know how I get on, guys. Tell me, honestly, could you wear it? Have you thought about buying one? They're frigging decent, but can you get over that hurdle? Right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.